Okay, so let's start with the hot trial skill and banish 8 concertina armor, kill 15 runs, avoid any damage. This one, it's actually pretty easy, just be careful with the traps that you just heard in the background. Um, stay on the roofs and then you're mostly safe. It's not a time based thing, most of, the tr of these trials are, are not a time issue. Alright, one is inside, just be careful that they do not catch fire. When you move, reload. Okay, what the hell is happening over there? Guys? I'm supposed to kill you, please. Yes, okay, there are a couple here. Okay, not bad. Okay. Can you come over here? Thank you. Oh, you spawned in the same spot. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, so, go one. And we are done with easy. Let's go up here. It's a little bit safe. They can spawn up here. So you're not 100% safe, but it's nice to move around the map. I mean, 4 more, 10 more, that's okay. I have so much time. It's mostly that you have to be careful that you don't go deaf because of the shooting. And they just surprise you. That's it. Also, fall damage is a thing. Reload here. Since you're safe. Hello. Yeah, killing the grunts is not really the big deal. I mean, there's so many. And they really want me, Jesus. Wait, is that dude inside? Why do I go for the stupid headshot then? I don't know. Let's go for upper torso shots. They're strong enough to kill them. So yeah, two more armors and I'm done and look at the time that I have left. Oh nice. Right out there. Really? Maybe one thing you have to be careful of is uh, when they are around corners. That you do not cut the corner because then, uh, well, if you're too close, they apply bleeding. They don't have to hit you. Just being close is already. Okay. Yo. Next. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's a fun one. So it seems like they gave us all the meme weapons for, for these challenges here. So, kill and banish 10 concertina armors, avoid bleeding damage so you can take fall damage. Oh, you can? No, avoid any damage. And the grunts. You have 10 bolts. I tried to use the belts and shit like that. To pull them together, but... No. I just take one bolt for each armor and then... Uh, blast the grunts. That's the safe way to do it, in my opinion. The moment I try to be fancy, uh, shit hit the fan. So I'm just doing it like so. Didn't I? Yeah. Am I in the die instant, please? So. Yeah, you can always take high ground and stuff. If it's getting too dicey for you. I like this one. Man, I need to play this gun way, way, way more, guys. Way, way, way more.
So as long as you're not missing a shot, you can blow them all up. Um, and even if it does happen, honestly, you still have the officer. And there are ammo boxes around, so... Just enjoy the show. Play that one. Have some fun. And relax, because there are painful ones. Didn't I hear one inside? Apparently I did not. Nice trigger range though in these parts, I have to say. Should start reloading these bullets. I take you then, I guess. Okay. No. Oh. Just be careful that they don't get too close to you when you have the drum spin. Would be a damn shame. I think I can touch this one. Yep. Alright. And now I need uh, four grunts filled with bad shots. Okay. Oh, there you are. Just enjoy the explosive first ball. GG. Next. Okay. Welcome to this one. Which is... Um... Super fun, actually. So, you have sticky bombs and two pairs of dolls. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> okay. I, I guess I take the long path. The long path which, which absolutely doesn't matter because you have enough time for this challenge. There is no red barrel over there, I think. You should absolutely save these though for uh, enemies inside, so we're gonna do this. Maybe skipping, you know, what I'm doing here, like missing the bullets and stuff like that. And first mic, otherwise you don't see it. Yeah, one downstairs. None of them spawn Rex next to red barrels, it's kinda, kind of a shame. Right. We take the kick ass reload. Nice, see? Perfect. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Please bite the dust, thank you. Be careful with these swings. Uh, I'm gonna take now one of those. And I'm gonna run. That's already half the challenge. And look, I have so much time. I don't know where all the grunts are that are supposed to spawn. Oh, that's a good spot, right next to the red barrels. Wait a bit until he's closer. We're not gonna do the same mistake again. Then wait, because there are more barrels and they will also, yeah. They will also explode. One in the back. Oh, there should be... No, I used that one. Okay. That's still cool. Going easy. That's six out of eight. I need to shoot one and I can blow up the other one. Perfect. Now, if you're gonna ask me, uh, Mike, what is the challenge here? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. This is uh, just a fun one to play double dodge and to look at explosions, I guess. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, I like this. Not every challenge needs to be a, a huge pain in the ass, in my opinion. Yeah, two minutes left, Jesus Christ. There's one that might be a challenge. Not right in the ass. I'm so sorry, my dude. Perfect. And we are done. Cool. Like it. Up to the next one. Alright. So, this one. 
This one is a pain in the ass. This one is a pain in the ass. The main issue are the Hellhounds. Again, you have to work a little bit with uh, different levels of the map. Try to be on top of things. Hay bales, roofs, stuff like that. You have alert thingies, but... So I like to seal off this one. One here. It's not doing much though. They can run easily through that. And again, uh, it's not a problem to kill the Hellhounds. You will see that. You will have to kill so many. With the grunts, you have to be careful with the cleaver ones. Oh, there it is. Ah, yeah, sure. Nice. Problem is that you miss, you sometimes do not have enough time to reload your stuff, so be careful. I don't know if you take falling damage here, I hope you don't. No, you don't, that's nice. Okay, that one is in sight. Uh, not a huge fan of that one. Yeah. So I probably go inside from here. <laughs> I can't spawn inside as well, I guess. Keep the doors closed. No matter what you do, keep the doors closed. If they spawn inside, they stay inside, and if they spawn outside, you. Safe fish, I guess. Okay. Oh, you about that. Okay. So again, that's one of the safe spots here. I guess you can kite them to red barrels and then use your blank fire decoys to finish them off. But my dude, if you fuck that up, I don't think you can even switch weapons fast enough for that. There was a prime example that the Constantino bomb, yeah. They just run through it. <laughs> oh yeah, with the cleaver, thank you. So the one taking fire is fine. Taking falling damage is fine. The only thing that is not fine is uh, taking stupid bleeding damage. We're doing good. This is one of the challenges that took me actually quite, quite some time. Uh, okay. Oh. oh shit, that didn't kill him. Great! Alright, let's go in here. I think the grunts always spawn, uh, the same way. Like in the same location. There should be now the last one south. Yeah, okay, so they do always spawn in the same location. At least number 8, and uh, 9 and 10. They were always in here and there in the back, so maybe that's just crazy coincidence. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go downstairs. So now I could take the blank fire decoys, see how they work. They're just dying over there, that's nice. Well, this might be actually. Hmm. Nah, this is this is taking a huge risk. I have all the time in the world. I'm gonna go here. Just gonna parkour the shit out of this. Shoot that one real quick. Once I'm in here, I'm safe. Then it's done. Yo, that's a nice change. Uh, normally, I do not complete this first try. <laughs> so I try to always like do some parkour jumps. It helps you against the dogs. The blank fire decoys, sure, man. You can probably use it for red barrels. You can lure them away. It didn't work for me when I tried it, so I skipped that one. The Constantina bombs, I just toss them at the beginning. Just be careful that you're not tossing them underneath, like the walkway, because the barbed wire can go through and that can fuck you up because it's bleeding damage. But, GG, next. Okay, welcome to the final one. This actually can be a pain in the ass. 
It's a fun one. You need to kill with the bomb plants, the meatheads, and everything. Uh, you have vitality shots. The only thing you need to be careful with is there are so many hives. You die to a light attack. The light attack counts as a headshot. You have to remember headshot, so if you're close enough, you can shoot them. There are medkits around, and you absolutely need to know that you can set yourself on fire. So, if, if it's getting really, really close, go to a lantern, set yourself on fire, and then you have a short breather from all the bugs. Maybe I can showcase that one. Alright, let's go! I remember playing this one the first time, and I was like, man, this is easy. Like, the fuck? Why is this a challenge? Yeah, I realized them pretty quickly, like midway challenge. Well, goddamn, that's a lot of hives. And that's actually a threat. And we start strong with start points, I would say. Also, you can take all the damage in the world. Yeah, let's start to clean up here a bit. Hello? Oh, over there. Wait, is it inside? It's inside. Okay. Pretty happy that there's like no hive right now. Uh, I stand corrected. I'm gonna go the long way. So I can regenerate my life bar on top. Keep in mind, harpoon, it staggers. So they will not slap you once you're close enough. Um, I'm kind of safe in here actually, which is uh, hilarious. Lots of screaming going on outside there. Reload my stuff. There are a couple map kits actually. I think I outrun this. Um, this is the moment where I do this. It just burns off everything. And I just rotate around the fire. This is pretty close though, I have to say. Nice. Still able to showcase that one. And as you can see, I know I'm saying this probably in every trial right here, but uh, time is not an issue. Just play a little bit with fire. Uh, don't tell your mom that I told you that. Don't play with fire normally, okay? And... Two more, rotate right. Like I'm kidding you not, there's so many. There's a medkit on the right that I might be able to take. Where's the dude? Ooh, I think that didn't poison me. Hello? Wait, I'm done? No! Kill him, banish six meat heads. Or even in here. Oh, all the way over there? Wait, didn't I banish that dude? I think I missed the banish. Eh, it's okay. We have enough time. We have minute 30. Yeah, I didn't banish it because I didn't miss. You have one bomb plant shot basically for each meat head. Ah. Uh, doesn't really matter. We take that one. Strafe a little bit around the bees. All the way there in the back. Just for fun. Smacky smacky. And here we go. That's it. You can't die in this one if you underestimate the hives. But otherwise. Again, stay calm, use the fire. And that's it. Those are, I think, all the trials. Hope you like that one. See you in the next one. 
And finally, that's all the newly released trials. The hot ones have actually two very spicy ones in there, especially the one at Fort. You can most likely play the smarter though. Also very spicy are my patrons. Check out this full wall of awesome people. Thank you, as always, for the strong support. Thank you for watching. Let's see when we will have more trials. They pump them out quite fast actually. Hope these videos help. I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.